Hello my dear students, today we are going to do the projection of solids and before that I would like to tell you that there are two types of solids which I will discuss in future classes that is polyhedrons and the another type is solids of revolution. So polyhedrons I would like to focus on two that is prism the first one the first solid of polyhedron that is the prism and the second one which I would like to focus on is pyramids. So these are the two types which I will focus on on that is the polyhedrons that is the prism and the pyramids and the solids of revolution I would like to focus on that is the type 2 I would like to focus on slender and the second one is that is the cone so these are the four things on which I would like to focus on and projection of solids in future classes so let me first start today with the prism okay I have in my hand this is a prism I hope you are seeing this this is a prism what is a prism a prism is one whose top and the base are same what is a prism whose top and base or same that is a prism one more definition of a prism that its faces that means these vertical faces are rectangular in shape faces are rectangular in shape so these are the very important two things which I am mentioning in this video that a prism is a one whose top and the base are same second thing the vertical faces are in rectangular shape so these are the two important things which we should remember when we talk about the prism on the basis of its shape of the base there are various types of prisms that is square prism because the base is in square shape triangular and so on pentagonal hexagonal and so on so these all types are because of the shape of the base so in today's class I would like to take the first one that is a pentagonal prism so there is a question which is given a regular right regular pentagonal prism now you know what is prism that the base the top and the bottom both are same the edge of base is 25 mm the edge of the base is 25 mm that means it is from this point to this point 25 mm and it's a regular pentagon that means all the base edges are same so the distances from this point to this point and this point to this point they are same which is 25 mm and the height is 55 mm that means the height from this point to this point is 55 mm this pentagonal prism rests on an edge of its base in HP in as in previous classes I have clearly mentioned what is HP that is the horizontal place plane and this base edge rests on HP and the condition is now given such that its axis is parallel 
to VP. It is resting such a way, if we rest is like this, the axis if this is my vertical plane, the central axis of this solid is exactly parallel to the VP. So the condition is being obeyed and inclined to HP at 45 degree and the base is inclined like we are rotating and now this base if you can see this base is inclined at 40 degree to what to HP so we have to draw the projections I hope my dear students you got the question what is in the question and I mentioned certain more things I hope you got that so to start with I will start with the top view and I will teach you in a very systematic manner how to draw the two views so in this case there is only one rotation of the solid that it is rotated at 45 degrees to the edge piece one edge of the pentagonal prism is at 45 degrees so we will start by drawing the top view and all drawing will be drawn in first angle projection my dear students what does first angle projection means yes when HP is below the XY line and VP is above the XY line so let's start drawing so first I will draw my reference line that is my XY line so it should be very light so this is my XY line now the condition is saying that one of the base edge we have to put it like the one of its edge of the pentagon is, is perpendicular to the VP so this edge is perpendicular to the VP and apex of this pentagon is on the other side right my dear students you are getting me so let's start by drawing this line first so first I will draw a line and that line is how much that is 25 mm so I will draw a line 25 mm so now from there I will draw the pentagon so how I can draw the pentagon you know my dear students pentagon has five sides yes and the total angle you know that is 360 if we divide 360 by 5 so what we are getting we are getting 72 72 degree is the exterior angle of this pentagon that means we have to keep this protector here and we have to measure how much we have to measure 72 so this is 70 and this is 72 degree so I have measured the angle this is the point same I could do it from the other end I'll measure the 72 degree angle that means this is 70 and this is 72 now there I can draw a line a slight line joining this point and this point I can draw a very light line similarly I can join these two points with a very light line okay my dear students after that what I need to do I need to bise bisect this line into two so what I will do I will keep the compass here and cut an arc and hair arc similarly like this and what I need to do I need to join these two points I need to join these two points these are the bisecting points and draw a line very light line now what I need to do what I need to do I need to open up the compass that compass should be open up as the base is that is 25 mm so I am opening up the compass 25 mm 
So this is, I have to keep one leg of the compass here and cut an arc. The another leg there, another leg there and cut this arc. Same goes to the other side. I will keep one leg here and cut an arc. And the other leg here and cut this corresponding arc. Now what I need to do, I need to simply join now these points. Now I can darken this line and now I can join these points and this point and this point. So my dear students, this is how you can draw the pentagon. Now as you know, this pentagon is a solid. What does a solid mean? A solid means which has length, breadth and height. So these are the very three important dimensions of a solid. So you know, if we look at it from the top, I know it also has a bottom. So I will give the name here and also at the bottom. So let me give the names on the top in the alphabets that is A, B, C, D and E. And which are the corresponding parts at the bottom I will mention them 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This thing makes it different from the planes. In planes, we only mention one because plane is the 2D figure. But this is a solid. This makes it solid because we have mentioned the two uh, top, top face and the bottom base of the solid. Now what I need to do, I need to take them up to the reference line. That reference line is my XY line with a very light hand very light hand you're getting me my dear students okay now this solid also has as a center so it also has its central axis so to find out its central axis what I can do I can draw the line I can bisect this side basically into two to find out the center of the solid this is one and this is another now I will join these two this point and this edge now this is my this is my center this is my center central axis of this solid fine so how i found found the central axis we have to what we have to do we have to bisect this edge and joining that edge with the apex one of the apex same we have bisected this edge this base edge and joining that base edge with apex and the intersection of these two is at the center now I can take this as my central axis add dotted I can take this up fine my dear students now as you know in the front view of this solid you can see how many faces one partially we can see this and partially we can see this so one true face and two apparent faces and the other faces the other two faces this one and the, this one is hidden so in front view how many faces my dear students yes we can see three faces so what is the height height is 55 yes 55 we will measure on the axis that is 10 This is my 55. So now I can take these points up to this. I can 
take this as a 55 and I can draw this as a dark line same way I can take this point and draw as a dark line now joining these two how many faces I said yes I said how many faces there are in this case in this case how many faces we can see this is the situation because this is different if we look at at this way if we look at this way my dear students let me correct myself if the solid is this way and we are looking at we can only see the two apparent faces not the three only the two apparent faces in this position if the solid is in this position then we could have seen three faces but the condition is different my dear students in this case we can see this face and this face two faces only not the three let me draw that one this is the point okay let me draw this one now how to name them at, at top what we have mentioned abc so this point at top is d prime and this point at top is e and behind e there is c so it is e prime and c prime and here what it is is yes my dear students because we are looking the solid from this end when we look it from this end what we can see see my dear students this point this point and behind this point is this and we can see this point and there is one more point behind to this point but this is all alone okay that's what i am talking about now we can see the a prime but behind a prime there is b prime okay this will go to the base also at base we can see there is only one point that base we have kept the one two three that's four prime at the base and here it is five prime and the behind one is three prime and here it is one prime and the behind one is two prime okay that is the first condition we have to keep it in a position so that now we can rotate this now this has been drawn now this edge base edge this base edge is inclined to HP at an angle of 45 degree so what we have to do my dear students if we tip this this is a solid if we are tipping tipping the solid like this and we are inclining the solid at an angle of 45 to the HP that is the case how it will look like in front view and top view we have to do nothing we have to reproduce this my dear students basically so we have to reproduce this at an angle of 45 degrees so at an angle of 45 degrees so we can take any point here in this line or in this xy line so on this xy line what i have to do i will just mention a point okay this is a point now there i will keep my protector i'll keep my protector on that point now i will measure the angle because that angle is how much that angle is 45 degree so this is my 45 degree now I can draw this angle this angle at 45 degree okay what next I need to do I need to just reproduce this figure at an angle of 45 degrees simply reproducing this figure same figure reproducing but at an angle of 45 degree now this is what we are tilting we are tilting this side what is this this is one prime yes this is one prime two prime and how much is the length length is same 55 because the height of the solid is 55 so we can measure from this point to this point we can directly measure 55 so up to this we can make this line as a dark line now now what need to do we need to now give the base base how we can do measure the base so to this we have to just keep the uh, this my scale here and measure the base of this how much is the base it is 10 20 30 and it is 30 
38 approximately 38 so I will keep it like this so I will measure 38 this is my 38 and I will give the dark line okay now this line has been drawn same could be done now parallel to this line we have to draw the parallel to this line that line is 40 55 so I will draw a line parallel to this line so that line is how much that line is 55 so 10 30 40 50 55 so there could be because you could do with the drafter when the drafter is fixed these lines can be drawn in more accurate accurately so there is chances of a little here and there because I am not using the drafter which is the fixed one this is the loose dra drafter skill I am basically using okay my dear students now I have to close this and and this line is again parallel to this line now let's give the this one how we can do that so I can directly take a protect uh, compass and I can measure this directly here so this is it so I can keep the one leg of the compass here and cut an arc similarly I can keep one leg here and cut an arc now joining this point and this point very simple my dear students I hope you are getting me what I am trying to, to make you to understand so if you have not like liked my channel and subscribed my channel yet please do that subscribe my channel and share this video if you like this video with your friends and cliques now let's name this so this is what we have to again as I said this is the reproduction of the same figure but at an angle this angle is how much this angle is 45 degrees yes this angle is 45 degrees naming this again this is a prime b prime the same one and this one is here yes it is 5 prime and 3 prime and this is 4 prime this is d prime e prime and c prime this is how we have named this okay now we have to draw the very important thing that is the top view in this position so what I have to do simply bringing these all points to the HP so I am just very with light hands bringing these all points into HP so these all points needs needs to go down to HP okay this is what from the we have brought produced these lines from the front view inclined front view same way we have to bring the points from the top view which we have drawn earlier so these lines are intersecting with each other okay we'll find out what will happen with the intersection of these points we will see what will happen so this is one more line which is coming from here and this is one more line which is coming from here okay now my dear students as we are looking the object the solid from this end so it is how you can see you are looking at from this end when you look at from this end you can see this completely pentagon this pentagon you can see but this pentagon you can see only this edge and this edge only the two base edges of this pentagon you can see from the top remember this thing okay now let's find the corresponding points so corresponding how to start with the corresponding point so this is three here so where is the three okay this is the three no this is not this is the three oh it comes from here the three comes from here so this is my three I'm finding the uh, the base that is the base edge of the prism this is the four and here it is the four so four comes from this and four comes from this so this is my four and five this is the five and this is five and it comes from there so they are intersecting here so this is five one this is one and one comes from this side also this is one now the loss from the base end is two so this is two and this one is two 
okay this is the base what i have i got now let me find out that this top uh, uh, top face of the pentagonal prism so let me find out now a b c so this is c so where is the c this is c and this is the c here this is my c and b let's see the b this is the b and here it is b same needs to be done a a is here and then e e is here and then needs to be find out d and d comes from here and d comes from here so as i said the first thumb rule is whatever the boundary lines you have darken all the boundary lines so i will dark all the boundary lines that is the thumb rule so what is what is the what are, whatever are the boundary lines there for the solid we need to darken them so i will darken all the boundary lines at the initial phase this is the thumb rule my dear students when you look the solid darken without any fair all the boundary lines okay the second thing what i said when we look at from the top from this end we can see this hole now we can without any doubt we can darken these lines also okay this and this and what else i said what else i said from the top if, if we look at from the top fine my dear students if we look at from the top we can see only the two sides darker base edges darker and rest edges are hidden so when they are hidden so that means they are making the dotted lines you know in drawing hidden lines are to be drawn with dotted lines now it, it becomes more easier and you can see a solid coming slowly in picture now what else we need to know we need to know what part is connected with what part it is b is connected with 2 so let's join them b connected with 2 so again this is behind we cannot see so i can draw this with a dotted line okay now what else so a is connected with one so this is one and a again we cannot see we can draw this with a dotted line now what we can see we can see one thing that is four and d they that can be seen so this needs to be drawn with a solid line see my dear students this has come in live this is my central axis if we have to produce that one also by this way the question is done and we have drawn this central line let me also draw that central line it is somewhere here okay i hope you understood this question very nicely and i hope you enjoyed this class if you enjoyed this class please do share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future